Good afternoon, everybody. I am Mintia, and what I'm going to talk about today is the online presence of the online generation. Online presence, a popular way of expressing oneself in the modern era. The unique personalities of individuals can be perceived through their activities on social media. I also enjoy writing on threads, and sharing helps me feel comfortable. According to journal Social Media and Society, when we create digital content, we become more confident, more creativity, we can overcome the social barriers and aware self-respect. However, does this expression always bring positive influence? Three months ago, Ashley Lindy became the center of the attention on social media. It was after the final round of Road to Mount Olympia, and even though I wasn't the winner, an action in the competition made me extremely famous. To exaggerate a bit, I took a big spotlight. It was an unforgettable moment, and I became the judges of the base on social media. As you can see here, there are many opinions, both positive and negative. There are even harsh personal criticism. It was a truly difficult period for myself. Some organization even distort the information, and significantly affecting my image in the eyes of many. I felt very sad, and I cried a lot during this time. Moreover, my social media activities were used by many pages to create content for profit. The frequency of my online presence has skyrocketed, and I couldn't control it. I dare not using social media, and I limited my online interaction. Uh, I reject the calls from many journalists intending to extract the information. I felt very hard, and for Chai's mind, those words were really hard to accept. Fortunately, I managed to overcome the pressure with. The support from my family. At the time, I realized everything we share online will never disappear, and even if we delete it, the cloud data will still retain it. Oh, online presence is the footprint that never vanishes. It's a double-edged sword. It can help us as far as ourselves, but. At the same time, it can make things go wrong, if, especially if we abuse or use it improperly. So, why does online presence have a significant impact on us? Carl Rogers, a psychologist, has mentioned two main types of identity. First is the personal identity. Which, which means how we perceive ourselves, and the second is the social identity, which is the perception that others have about us. 
each post, each post we share or we post on my on social media, reveal our personal identity. The problem is, we have little control over the social identity. When we sh uh, a joking post may receive diverse opinion, and a photo can be used as a yardstick to measure an individual value. Do we easily make judgment about an individual just based on their online presence? Yes, this is the thing that many people are doing. And I have heard many comments like, oh, she posted this photo yesterday. It doesn't seem right at all. She tried to impress guy or something. Oh, this guy, he likes to show off his wealth a lot. Are they right? It's not 100%, but there's no basic for evaluating a person like that. We always like to judge and, and evaluate. And social media is a useful tool to shorten the time doing that. We easily see sensational and shocking titles designed to attract the readers. And such evaluations is inaccurate. It's lack of foundation and it can, will create many prejudices about an individual. Today, society greatly favors quick content, such as Instagram Reels, Facebook Short, YouTube Short, especially TikTok. Just 30 seconds is enough to summarize a story. The question is whether it captures all the necessary information. We invest minimal time, but still desire the maximum amount of the information. And it leads to an overall crisis. Furthermore, our brains have a mechanism to erase everything around when there is an overly intense initial impression, and this is called halo effect. The social media is a great platform that where the effect has the opportunity to spread. When we read the information about a person, we assume that they are a certain way. And what does anyone need to know the details around them? And this initial impression becomes a prejudice forming a subjective evaluation about a person. According to UNICEF, every three internet users, there's one person under 18 years old. 71% of persons in the age group from 15 to 24 is active online, indicating that this age group is the most connected globally. However, only a few of them have the education on the online safety. And according to the government's degree, uh, College of India, the adolescence age group is the most affected by the identity crisis. This is because it is a stage of human development, both in physical and psychological terms, with desires to express oneself. Hurtful work can strongly impact that emotion on young people, and uh, they may even fall into the depression. And it is very challenging to get over it without the intervention. The online presence also leads to an unrealistic expectation on young people. It's not just, it's not just uh, expectations. And these are the standards that many people set for an individual that uh, just based on their information on social media. Um, 
And uh, when we read the information about person, and we, we always hope that they can have the achievement like, he, like they have in the past. And it can, with the combination of the social, uh, of, the the, of the media, it can be, this expectation can be the burden on the young people. And I have, I felt when I cope with this unrealistic expectations. The mass media make people trust in me too much. And it's turned into a psychological barriers that make me very scared. And when we break the limits of the expectation, it's no longer be the motivation. So, how to control the online presence? I found the answer for the question when I prepared for today's speech. Looking back, at the time, I just doing nothing. I just disappear, disappear from social media and I reject the calls from the strangers. It was easy. There were some posts and some comments with the toxic word that caught my attention and make me want to react. However, it doesn't, it's these unnecessary. Sometimes we don't need to left your online presence. And staying, staying silent and choosing to ignore also a good method to survive in a place as dangerous as social media. Remember that on your activity, reflect your personal identity and it contributes to the social identity too. So, let's understand yourself to making selective choice in the language and image. It can express your personal identity, but also help you to build a high quality social identity. Thank you for listening.